low impact development, um, which is basically a fancy way of saying, you know, green roofs or um, rain gardens. Um, I, you know, people living in Portland and in the surrounding areas will notice a lot of the construction happening along streets and, and uh, <clears throat> you know, in different areas um, where they're building these big gardens, um, essentially, or these big kind of pits that they then fill with plants and um, when it rains, they get filled with water. Those, are, those types of strategies end up also saving energy and saving water. Um, in locations where uh, they rely on groundwater, for instance, um, and don't have uh, local water, uh, I guess I'd, to, to better describe this, let me back up just for a second. Um, you know, in, in a typical built urban environment, the rain basically falls, it hits you know, per impervious surfaces like roofs and streets and rushes off, picks up a whole bunch of contaminants, and then goes to the nearest surface water source or basically goes out of the community and pollutes, it can pollute waterways and create a whole lot of problems. And so a lot of communities have, you know, such as Portland, for instance, have built stormwater systems that actually collect that water and then have to treat it. And then so they, you know, move that water to a treatment plant and then energy is used to, you know, to put it through the treatment process before it's discharged back into the environment. And so what these, you know, rain gardens and these um, green roofs and, and there's all sorts of different strategies that, you know, fall under low impact development, mm -hmm. what they actually do is they can save that energy that would be used to treat that contaminated stormwater by letting it stay where it's at and slowly be absorbed back into the ground like it would have naturally before, you know, we built all the streets and the roofs and, um, and such. And so you reduce water pollution and you save energy. And in communities, you know, where they rely on wells for drinking water, um, you know, especially in the southwest where uh, <coughs> aquifers are declining because people are using so much water, um, that actually can allow the water to recharge those aquifers and actually provide a local low energy supply of water. Um, another thing that you can do is just rain barrels. Um, that's another low impact development strategy. And by um, uh, you know, by putting up a rain barrel and using that to collect, you know, rainwater that falls on your mm -hmm. property, um, you know, you can then offset the water or, you know, other water that you'd use. You can use it for irrigation or use it for toilet flushing and then you have energy savings there because now you're creating another supply that doesn't require any additional energy for use and you're offsetting that water that, you know, comes from your water utility.